The following program is not only useful, but demonstrates a lot of what has been presented so far, including the new input statement. If you enter and run this program, you'll see input in action. Line 10 uses the input statement to not only gather information, but also print our prompt. Also notice that we can ask for either a number or string, by using a numeric or string variable. Lines 20, 30, and 40 do some checks on what is typed in. In line 20, if nothing is entered, just caret is hit, then the program goes back to line 10 and requests the input again. In line 30, if F is typed, you know the user wants to convert a temperature in degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius, so the program branches to the part that does that conversion. Line 40 does one more check. We know there are only two valid choices the user can enter. To get to line 40, the user must have typed some character other than F. Now, a check is made to see if that char actor is AC, if not, the program requests input again. This may seem like a lot of detail, but it is good programming prac, TICE. A user not familiar with the program can become very frustrated if it does something strange because a mistake was made entering in format ion. Once we determine what type of conversion to perform, the program does the calculation and prints out the temperature entered and the converted temperature. The calculation is just straight math, using the established formula for temperature conversion. After the calculation is finished and answer printed, the program loops back and starts over. After running, the screen might look like this. After running the program, make sure to save it on disk or tape. This program, as well as others presented throughout the manual, can form the base of your program library. <laughs>